So before I begin, this happened on the way to uh, Mr. Anthony Diaz's grave site. There he is, Mr. Anthony Dia, protector of Toledo, one of the protectors I might add, and my heart goes out to him. There he is. Now this is a big grave area. If you're looking for him, he's at the front part near the uh, maintenance area over here, right there. Wow, I believe this is like a Muslim area burial because it looks like it's all Muslims. My heart goes out towards him and his family who uh, fortunately had to sit there and deal with an idiot. The idiot's dead. There he is. Oh, a University of Michigan fan, wow. All right, he got some, right? So now I'm gonna leave the uh, cemetery and I'm gonna leave this man in peace. So I pray for him. And hopefully all other officers do all right.
It's a really nice day out here in Toledo. Going around. Got an idiot showing off on his car. Got Lowe's going corral. It's okay down here, but I heard there's a lot of drugs. It's some of a bad area behind this. And we're at a Home Depot here where Officer James Dia was supposedly killed here um, a couple years ago on the night where he came out here to check up on someone and the idiot shot him. I guess he was wearing his bulletproof vest and the bullet from what I heard went through his armpit and killed the guy. So these Toledo police officers do work pretty hard and they deal with a lot of idiots. I know this for a fact. Unfortunately, I do too, and I'm not even a cop, so don't want to be one, but Anyway, this is off Alexis Road. I think they had a memorial around here for them. They probably took it down but, uh, I do shop here a lot Or I should say once in a while, but unfortunately every time I come here There's always a shoplifting event last time a guy ran out or I'm sorry a woman ran out with the box guy was waiting for her, jumped in the car, took off, and they got in an accident, I guess, right over there, somewhere, so, well, anyway, let's go on with the video, and one thing I want to point out is, this is unfortunate, I'll be the first person to show his tombstone, because I don't see it anywhere on the internet, not even on, uh, I think it's called gravesite.com, or, so it'll be a privilege for me to do it. Um, Alright, let's do this. 